Okay, so Emmy's Bush and Starter. What have you got for us, guys? Well, we were thinking, well, I was thinking for like a beef tartare, but a faux beef tartare, having no meat in it. Okay. Uh, this is hard. How? How? So we were thinking doing something like with vegetables and fruit, but still having that like pickled aspect to it. Um, so texturally, how are you going to make that work? Not sure yet. We wanted to experiment a little bit, but uh, we did have a few ideas. So you're talking like a, a brunoise of yeah. vegetable and fruit. Yeah. And what would the um, vehicle be for it? What would the, we would, the base? We would use uh, like a crostini, but okay. something very dense, like a pumpernickel style, right? But a little seedy. I, wouldn't, I wasn't going to put any um, sesame or anything like that for allergy's sake, but something a little nutty. A little sweet, very dense. And also, we're gonna have like a, a spread, some kind of, uh, you know, at the bottom of it, like a hummus or a aioli type Something deal. to glue it to the crostini. Exactly. Right. Okay. And we're also thinking about cold smoking one of the vegetables, just for that smoky aspect. We're trying to hit all the notes, sweet, savory, um, salty, all those notes. So yeah, we wanted to cold smoke something uh, as part of the dish. We haven't figured out quite uh, what direction we would go with that yet, but that's just an idea we have. Okay. So if I'm looking at this image, what is, what's what? Uh, so basically this black ring would be the crostini, and, I, and this would be sort of like, we wanted to do like a cucumber maybe. We haven't figured out the ingredients we would use, okay. but so our idea is, is that we're, we're thinking about having like a mango like boiling a mango, cutting it in half, and having it as like a like a fake egg yolk on top. Okay. Yeah, and then we're thinking we were we're not sure of the veg we wanted to use, um, but we wanted to make it kind of replicate a meat, right? So it'd be sort of reddish, um, but with the green ring, we wanted to do something fresh and crispy. So we're thinking cucumber. So we're thinking like a shaved cucumber around the outside, just to kind of keep it uniform. Yeah. Um, in the faux thing on top, the faux egg on, yolk on top, and then, you know, kind of experiment in that, in that, in that sense. Okay. It's just basically a rendition of, or our take of a tartare, but we didn't want to put any meat in it, so it's, right. but we also didn't want to uh, tell people, like, oh, it's, a, you know, vegan, just put it in your mouth and eat it, right? right it's right, not right. vegetarian, it's per se. Vegetarian. Right. It's delicious. It's, it's a sustainable tartare. Right. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Right. Cool. So that was one of our ideas. Um, Uh, also, uh, sorry, it's a little tricky. So, for the people, we weren't sure how you would feel with a vegan mousse bouche or vegetarian mousse bouche. Yeah. We're we're leading more towards vegan just to make it a little harder, yeah. challenge ourselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I want to I want to figure out what we're doing with the the beef tartare. Uh, the concept is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, the flavors are concerning. Only, not, yeah. not concerning, but if, if that mango it. yolk, right? If we do a, a think about a, a quail egg yolk, right? That amount of mango in a bite, it's overwhelming, right? It's it's gonna coat your mouth in that almost fuzzy kind of sweetness. sweetness yeah. So finding something to to make that balance. I like the cucumber idea, but it's too. Yeah. Baseline, right? There's no, there's no. We're also talking about cold smoking the mango, which I think would mellow it out a little bit. Yeah. It would also. We also originally thought of using mango for as the base of the tartare, but yeah. then I was like, I kind of thought of the faux tartare, and I wanted that red from like beef, right? So yeah. then we pressed, started. Pressed watermelon. Oh. Brunoise of pressed watermelon. Wow. Pickled pressed watermelon. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That look. Yeah. That look. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. That some, like fleshy kind of. Do you know what she's talking about? I even have a picture. Oh, what about the uh, stuffed quinoa pepper? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, we're also thinking about a stuffed pepper too, but like a tiny mini. We can source them, like little tiny peppers. We can find that. I think the starters group. Uh, I think there are some core ideas in their work 
that are excellent. Choosing to go all vegan, um, I think it's not as hard as people make it out to be. And, and, and in fact, I, I commend them for trying to access, um, trying to reach that kind of a dish um, in, a, in a creative, complete way. Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's progressive and it's um, to not be afraid of that, right? You don't, I don't want our students to go out there and say, oh, they're vegan, I can't, I can't do that. I want to taste it. Uh, I'm, I'm not sold on the amuse-bouche yet. Uh, I think that it, it, has the, it has the bones there, but I don't know for sure yet if it's going to hit the mark. You stoked about the starters. Soups, I was a little uh, um, iffy on, but after sitting down with the chefs and going over a few ideas that we had, I'm, I'm like stoked all over again, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm overall, I'm happy with the, the position and everything.